Here's a short film I shot last summer called Second Impressions. I have two characters discussing some extreme sports. And in this particular shot, the lead character, there's a, a noise that happens about here. Let me play it back. Hmm. Do I get a shot cage? Now you could take care of the noise using the traditional keyframe method. Holding down the R key, I'll drag across the noise and I'll just drag the volume down and there you have it. I have keyframes, I've knocked it out. And it works, but it's not the most flexible method of removing noise, as you'll see in a moment. Press undo. A better way to edit out the unwanted sound is to open audio components, where you can do surgical audio removal. Plus, there's some additional benefits. Holding down the option key, double click right on the waveform. You'll know you're in audio component mode when you move your pointer into the waveform and you'll see a range tool icon. This is opposed to moving into another clip where you don't see the range tool. So here's where the noise happens. I'll just play it. So I'm just gonna drag out a range. Now to disable that noise, I'm going to press the V key. Just like that, the sound is knocked out. But as you'll hear, this presents a problem. Hmm. With the audio completely removed, we've also removed the background ambience and it sounds unnatural. So I'm gonna fix this by grabbing a piece of ambience from this portion of the clip by dragging out a range. Now the key is you wanna drag out a little bit more than the initial selection that you muted. Now I will copy that section by pressing Command C. Next, move your playhead right before the muted audio and in the edit menu, you'll choose paste as connected clip, option B. Just like that, the background ambience you copied is pasted at the playhead location and it covers that muted section. Let's play back. Hmm. Do I get a shot cage? That sounds pretty good, but we can make some further adjustments. For example, let's say in your initial selection, you had a little piece of the noise still remaining over here outside the muted section. If you place your pointer on the edge of the muted section, you'll notice a trim icon. You simply drag and you can extend or contract the area that was initially selected for muting. What's also cool is if you look at the top, there are fade handles on either side of the muted section. This allows you to smoothly transition out of the speaking part to the ambient section without a noticeable click or pop in the audio. I also recommend you drag out fade handles for the connected audio. All you need is just a few frames to create that smoothing. Now let's play back. Hmm. Do I get a shot cage? Perhaps I was a little bit heavy handed on this one here, so I'm gonna back this off and I'll just move this a little bit this way and play it back again. Hmm. Do I get a shot cage? Perfect. 